Okay, so this is not um, a product promotion or a review or anything like that. I am very, very skeptical about having covers on caravans. Um, having been in the trade for a while, I've seen loads of problems that have uh, been damp issue related and it kind of put me off. I know the newer covers aren't quite so bad, uh, but I've never had one. And having seen the size of the front window in these uh, Bailey Unicorns and in other vans, I wanted to try and protect them from stone chips because I had a stone chip on my previous van. So I've got this Shield Auto Care cover and in these pockets here, you can put, um, there's a little light that comes with it, a little battery operated light. So it becomes your high level marker light on either side. Um, it's breathable. It's quite soft. Uh, first time we put it on and it took us five minutes, if that, and that was working out which way to put them in the uh, awning rails. It's very simple. I think if I remember rightly, I paid about 37 quid for it. So if it turns out to be a total waste of money, I haven't lost the earth. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Just a very a quick one, but also to give you an idea of what's upcoming. Um, as most of you that know me will know, I like to keep my caravan clean as I do my car. And they're, uh, I'm always fettling. But what you'll find is if you've just bought a caravan um, that's used or your caravan hasn't been used for a long time, there's always bits that look nasty. Now, I'm not sure whether the camera's going to pick it up. Yeah, I think it is. So in here, you can see there's like a black line of crud and crap. And if you wash it with a normal sponge, um, you'll get all the, all the crap off of here. No worries at all but it doesn't get right into here. And then you end up with this like dirty looking line and that line up there might show it a little bit better. Um, also there's areas up here. Now I'm doing this with my phone, so I do apologize if it comes out looking crap. Um, I didn't bring a camera with me and I wasn't gonna make a video. So I'll be showing you how to get all those off, how to get all that marks off of there. And, uh, oh, the other thing. The seals now these unicorns being the front covers on you can't see the front one so we go to the back these unicorns have got a nasty habit of these seals all here breaking up and going dry and manky and you end up with a loose this i mean there's no way of fixing these and this is basically just like a windscreen why i put it slides onto the panel um, it's like a, an H shape and this part of the panel goes inside the bottom part of the H and then the top part of the H is this bit and it should sit all nice and tight up there. So if you go to the edge, you can see it's, it's a better fit up here, it's starting to come away there, but the whole thing is perished. So I bought a new, new seal to go on there and I think it was a fiver, something like that. Uh, so we're gonna have a go at fitting that. I think the rear one is a lot easier than the front one. Um, I think on the front one, we've got to remove handles and possibly even take the front bumper off. You can see up here, you've got all this black cruddy stuff again. And you'll pick it up, you, you have it all around here. It'll be all around your windows. And I'll show you a good way of getting that off. Whatever you do, if you don't follow this video up, don't use a pressure washer to try and get it off. You will ingress water into the seams of the van and get damp right that said that's all i'm doing for this video catch you on the next one take care happy caravanning